Hey guys, Tom Green here with Nightside Distillery. Uh, this is a video that's been long overdue. Um, I told Steve, uh, all in one wine pumps, I'd do something for him a long time ago. We're, uh, we're over four years into our business now, and uh, right now we only use one bottling machine, and that's uh, the all in one wine pump here. Uh, you see, I kind of got it, got it running right now. Uh, put a little stick around there, different than what he sent, but it's still the same machine. Haven't changed a thing on it. Um, we run it through the whole house filter like what he's recommended here. Try to turn this around. It's not going to do it. Okay. Anyways, uh, it's the whole house filter just like he's recommended. We change it out depending on the products we use. Uh, sometimes a 30 micron uh, all the way down to like a 1 micron filter in there depending on the product we're putting through there. Um, today I'm bottling some Aquavit. Uh, this product's been barrel aged, has a lot of botanicals in it, uh, so uh, to, to try to keep the uh, carbon from the barrels and then also the, the residual botanicals uh, that came from the distilling process um, out of it, we, uh, we run it through a, a, a much uh, finer filter. Uh, the reason I wanted to bring this up is we have three different products, or three diff eight different products, but three different bottles. Uh, right now, the bottle I just showed you um, has a very narrow neck on it, and it's also very long. We also use uh, some of the more standard uh, wine bottles, um, like a, uh, uh, I believe it's the Bordeaux bottle, and uh, that's that's pretty standard in the wine industry. I know a lot of you guys are using it. And then also, uh, we have uh, this bottle here. I don't know if you can see it too well. Sorry about the bad video on this. Uh, I don't really have a setup for taking a video, but I want to make sure that. Uh, uh, we got some acknowledgement out there for Steve and, and the product that he's putting out. This machine has run, uh, we're up to, I believe, almost 10,000 bottles. Uh, last year we did over 3,000 bottles through it, uh, and every year we keep growing. Uh, the only failure we've ever had on it, a hot day, and it likes to overheat. Give it about 10 minutes off and, and it's happy again. Um, he did recommend we could put a, uh, like a little auxiliary fan like for a computer on it, um, get some cold air passing by and it'd be fine. But short of that, uh, the alcohol tolerance on the uh, on the hoses has been great. Uh, nothing has broken down, given any off flavors, uh, anything like that. Like I like I said, um, the only the only thing we got different is sometimes we got to change this little guy out for a smaller one for the different bottles. Uh, but it, it's highly recommended if you're going to do a bunch of bottling. If you uh, even if you're going to do a little bit, I, I started out with only doing. Uh, probably about 200 bottles a year so pretty small um, and then uh, stepped it up and now we do uh, about a three to four hundred bottle run every time we run it um, I'll show you a little work around I got here uh, this is uh, a lot of people have different things but I, I stopped at my local grocery store asked them for a uh, couple of these and they fit perfect I usually fit uh, 24 of the Bordeaux bottles in here sometimes a few less of these guys but it holds it great um, I'm going to try to uh, patch in another piece of the video here and uh, show you the actual bottling of it. Uh, but it's fairly simple. Uh, we just you get your suction going in here. We've already set the level for um, our, uh, our 750. And uh, then we got the vacuum brake here. And you just watch her go. Once it gets up there, I uh, tend to just kind of hit the button a little bit, slow it down. Uh, that's it. Once you pull the vacuum off it, self-leveling based off of gravity. And it's going to be hard one-handed here. To, oh, yeah, I lost it. So, anyways, because I'm doing a video, this one's not exactly turned out perfect. I'll have to uh, make sure the level's good on it. But yeah, you have to you have to watch your watch your vacuum on it when you're when you're going. But I could do this all day long. It'll it'll turn out. Uh, we we'll do probably about uh, 120 bottles in about 45 minutes with the speed of this vacuum. So if you're, if you're just starting out and you're looking for something uh, inexpensive but really good quality, I, I recommend the all-in-one wine pump. Uh, any questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, Steve has my information, or I'll, I'll try to get it on the poster for you. Good day.